there. So I haven't uh, done any sort of like update on my life in a long time and I'm super sorry about that. Um, I've had a lot going on medically, just um, nothing new, just, you know, um, getting old stuff checked up on this year. So I've been on a bunch of different new medications and stuff, so I've been kind of out of whack, but I'm trying to get back onto track with that. And so I wanted to give you guys a quick update about my beard and everything. Um, Cause you know, it's pretty sick. I mean, look at this impressive, glorious, beautiful beard that has, it's been like eight months now. <laughs> I can't believe it's been so long. Um, it's been a wild ride. Like I, um, you know, people have been so cool and kind about it. Um, I entered a beard competition and I won the whole thing, um, you know, which is, I'm sure it was because I'm a girl, but everyone there was so accepting of me, like everyone I was up against was so kind and loving, and the host was just thrilled that there was a bearded woman in the competition, and it was really fun, and I won like a gift certificate and two cups and like a stuffed animal and a hat, um, so it's really cool. Um, but yeah, it's been, it's been crazy, and ever since I started using that Scotch Porter stuff, uh, Scotch Porter stuff that I uh, posted my last video about, um, my beard has been like softer than the softest baby blanket. Like it's amazing and it smells good and the candle I've got burning behind me is like the same scent as the conditioner and oh, it's amazing. Like I just, I love having the whole house smell like it. It's really good. Um, but yeah, so I've, um, I've just been busy doing a whole lot of nothing really. <laughs> I've been like into a lot of different games. Like I tend to get hooked on like one specific thing and I don't experiment a lot, but you know, I played Beyond Two Souls. Um, I finished that yesterday and the game made me cry a lot, especially the homeless arc. Oh my God. I was so upset, but, um, <laughs> The ending was really good and I've gotten into Far Cry uh, 5 which is a lot of fun and I'm trying to like rush this along so I can get back to Far Cry. Um, but yeah, I dyed my hair red to kind of try to bring out some of the red in my beard. It's not the same color but it's good enough. And my cat's right here. Hi princess. You coming over here? Oh yes you are. Hello. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so I, <laughs> I'm trying to still, you know, do as much good as I can, trying to let people know that it's okay to have PCOS and it's okay to be bearded and a woman and, you know, I just, <laughs> I want people to feel comfortable being themselves and I've, it's been an incredible journey for me. Like I feel so much more confident in my body. I feel so much happier. Um, so I really recommend, you know, not necessarily growing a beard, but at least trying to love yourself more, no matter what that means for you personally, just work on loving yourself more. My cat's being way too fucking cute. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, I have some questions. I asked people on Tumblr to like submit questions so I had something, you know, different to talk about and some people did that. So I'm gonna read those now. Uh, Time Lords, Detectives, and Hunters asked, what is your least favorite sound, color, and animal? Well, my least favorite sound is when people chew with their mouth open and they smack their lips super loud and oh my god like that chewing like loud chewing makes me really really like angry like just oh my god um my least favorite color is like that greenish brownish baby poop color and my least favorite animal is mosquitoes because fuck them <laughs> Um, I play to lose, bitch, asked, <laughs> what is your skincare routine? Um, if I remember, no, I, I wash my skin in the shower usually, or my, <laughs> my skin, yeah, no, I wash my face in the shower and like sometimes I remember to take my makeup off, but I usually shower like first thing 
in the day for me. I can't say in the morning because I sleep in a lot. Um, but, you know, I'll use like a gentle face wash that's, you know, no, no scents, no dyes, no, nothing like that. Um, and, you know, I use beard shampoo and conditioner too. And then I will use a unscented gentle moisturizer. Um, I don't have any specific brands that I use. I just kind of use whatever I have at the time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I also, you know, um, about once a week I will shave along this line just to keep it in shape because my beard actually grows out like kind of like this which is interesting but it's not the aesthetic I'm going for um I kind of want that sharp crisp look you know um and then Amnesty Lodge asked and by the way I love your tumblr name because I love the adventure zone and I love all of the McElroy stuff honestly <laughs> um Amnesty Lodge asked how do you feel about the complete lack of representation for women like yourself in the media? The only example I can think of is the bearded lady from old circuses and stuff. Do you have hope for the future? What advice would you give other women with PCOS who have trouble embracing their bodies? <sighs> yeah, so I kind of understand why there's a lack of representation and that's because, you know, people hide the fact that they can grow a beard like women hide that they can grow beards um you know and obviously it's not every woman but it's way more women than you would think um it's just such a secret and that's why there's not really any representation but um you know i think i'm hoping by putting myself out there that i'm becoming some representation for somebody who needs it and i certainly know that you know like harnam was my represent like she she was the first person I ever saw like in modern times because you're absolutely right when you think of bearded lady you think of like circus or like dwarven fantasy women which is cool like I'm into D&D &D and stuff and I would absolutely you know make my character a uh, bearded anything honestly but I think there needs to be more bearded women in general and media like not just fantasy creatures or old-timey circus but you know we exist and it's way more common than you would think um, but as far as advice I would give to other women with PCOS or other people in general with PCOS who have trouble embracing their bodies is like, you only have the one body and, you know, I don't want to like dunk on anyone's religious beliefs, but I'm personally atheist and it's like, I only believe that we've got the one shot at life and there's nothing after that. And so what would be, what would be the purpose of, of, you know, like hating your body in your one life that you have to live. And even if you believe in afterlife, it's like, why would you want to spend your time on earth just miserable? You have the one body, make it, make it count and love it. Like love it now. Don't love it later when you're skinnier or whatever, just love your body. And I know it's extremely hard. It's not as easy as just like doing it, but at the same time, it kind of is. <laughs> You can. You can do it. You can do it. Like, I didn't believe I could do it, but I can't tell you what broke, like, what snapped that made me, like, that kind of, like, broke that barrier of hate down. It just, it was over time, and it takes work, and it takes effort, and it hurts, and there's a lot of pain, but you can do it. So, believe in yourself. Um, and the rest of the questions are anonymous. I've got, hey, what's your favorite color? I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. Um, I also love orange. Um, I love purple. <laughs> I love, I'm more into gradients than one specific color. Like I love sunrise, sunset gradients, um, anything to do with the sky. Like I'm obsessed with the sky, night sky, daytime sky, clouds, stars. I just love it all so much. Um, <clears throat> I have, what, <sighs> I was wondering about growing out a beard and maintaining it. I am a 20 year old cis guy with a bit of a patchy beard. It's also much more curly and like rigid than my head hair. So it usually looks messy even if I brush it. I also tend to fidget with it, me too. <laughs> and it ends up irritating my skin. Any recommendations would be appreciated. Um, okay, so first of all, you're, you're 20 
and 20 is not super duper young but it is still young for you know body development and everything and I've heard from other like cis guys that I know who are bearded that like they didn't start growing like a fuller beard until they hit like 28 or something like that so you know give it a little bit of time to see if the patchiness kind of subsides um but beards are very much genetics and hormones, so if you've got a patchy beard and you're like 30, like, you've got a patchy beard. I'm sorry, there's nothing you can really do aside from, like, I guess, uh, hair transplants, but who wants to do that for a beard? Just shave your face, it doesn't matter. Like, you can make, you can make a patchy beard work too, like, just, just love it. Just treat it nicely, wash it, shampoo, conditioner. Um, a, a good way to keep it kind of under control, especially if it looks messy and curly, because you can see mine is like a lot curlier than my head hair. Um, a good beard oil will help you. It's worth investing in a good beard oil. Um, get one that smells decent, because um, it's going to be on your face. <laughs> um, and it also, also beard oil will help with the skin irritation as well. Um, so definitely do that and make sure you keep your skin moisturized, like wash your face, moisturize your face straight after you wash it and hopefully that'll help with the irritation. As far as the fidgeting, I can't help you. <laughs> like I fidget constantly and like I'll catch myself like this, just like playing in it and then like I'll find a beard hair and I'm like, damn it, I pulled one out again and it irritates me so bad because like I have a fidget cube right here. Do I use it? No. <laughs> But I should so maybe try a fidget cube. I don't know if you can remember to use it um, And then the last question I have is why did you choose the piercings you have? Um, I just thought they would look good on me honestly and um, I mean the inspiration I don't really have much inspiration for all of them, but like this one in specific um, I used to be very into like Japanese rock and like visual K and stuff when I was younger and um, my favorite band at the time was Nightmare and their guitarist was like my favorite person in the whole world and he had a piercing right here and I loved it very much. Um, but otherwise all my piercings are just like, I thought they would look good on me and they do. Um, but I do want a lot more. <laughs> but you don't really need a specific reason to get a piercing or a tattoo even. And speaking of tattoos, like I've gotten more since like this, I had this one. She's my Jasper, and I love her. I don't know if... Yeah, my Jasper. Sorry, princess. I didn't want to stop petting you. And then I've got my Hurley and Sloan tribute. It's still a work in progress, and we have more color to do on it. But I love it so much. And then I've got... This one's kind of hard to show off. I've got Gerald the Binacorn. <laughs> I don't know. I've got pictures, like all over all of my social media if you want to actually look at my tattoos and stuff um but yeah uh those are all the questions that i had and sorry if i kind of talked really fast um i tried recording another video earlier and it all messed up so i'm like i'm just gonna redo it um <laughs> but yeah so um i'm going to hopefully post like a pride related video um soon ish because um, I have a lot to say about Pride and how I feel about it and, you know, but it is Pride Month, so happy Pride to those who celebrate it. Um, and I love you all very much, unless you're one of the nasty people, um, then I don't love you. And I hope that your lunch meat tastes bad. <laughs> but if you are a nice person, then I do love you and I hope that, you know, your lunch meat is always fresh and good. And... <laughs> I'm really tired. It is 1.13 in the morning, but yeah, so hopefully I won't take as long next time to put up a new video, and um, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day or evening, and bye!